Hey guys, this is Dr. Kim. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use slop technique in order to determine this radiolucency noted in the anterior maxilla. So I want to open this one up and first I want you to first of all recognize that there is a radiolucency. And so the question is, is this radiolucency located buccal or palatal? to the roots of 8 and 9. So that's the question. So is this radiolucency buccal or palatal to the roots of 8 and 9? If you have a single radiograph, we certainly cannot answer that. What I see is that part of this radiolucency is superimposed or overlaps with the apex of number 8. And that's really all I can say. However, when we have the series of radiograph with the location of tube obviously being shifted, we are able to determine this uh, radiolucency, the location of that radiolucency. So now, let's go over to this projection, where we have a periapical projection of number 10 as well as 11 and 12, and in doing so, we capture the apex of the radio uh, the tooth number 9 and then the radiolucency. What's important to uh, note is that amount of overlap is much greater such that now it's covering the apical third of number 9. So to restate that, as the tube shifted distally, right, the x-ray tube shifted distally in order to capture lateral and canine and first premolar. We find that this area of interest also shifted distally in the same direction as the tube so that there's a greater amount of overlap with respect to number 9. I hope you're following with me. So in order to, again, use a slop technique, you have to determine the direction of the tube shift as well as the direction of the, um, the area of interest. So in this case, tube shifted distally and also the area of interest shifted distally to the reference point, which was the apex of number 9. So slop stands for S-L-O-B. Again, same lingual opposite buccal. So when the area of interest shifts in the same direction as the tube, that means this area is located lingual to the reference point, which is the apex of number 9. What about what's its location relative to number 8? Well, from this initial radiograph that I shared with you, there are essentially right up against each other but if you look at this one the radiolucency has now shifted once again distally right shifted distally uh, so that there's a greater overlap with the apex of number eight all right so we know how the area of interest shifted but what about the direction of the tube perhaps once again the tube shifted distally as well which means both tube, both the tube and then the area of interest shifted in the same direction. So same means lingual. This radiolucency is located lingual to the apex of number 8. However, if this shifted in the opposite direction as a tube such that there is even less overlap with the apex of 8, you would have said um, it shifted in the opposite direction, therefore this lesion or the radiolucency is located buccal to the apex of 8. So I hope that summarized the slop technique and how to properly use it. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.